In this video, we're going to cover the snap settings and the autosave feature located on the right side of the console bar at the bottom of the user interface. The first section we have access to are the drag grid settings, and these are to be found also in the view menu underneath drag grid. So if you've already watched that video, you know what these do, but here we go all the same. First off, we have the ability to turn the drag grid on and off, and you won't really see what that does unless you select an actor such as a static mesh. And let me go ahead and get out my translation widget. As I move the static mesh around, you'll notice that it is currently snapping in increments of 16 Unreal units. And that is because currently our drag grid is set to a value of 16, and it is activated. If I click on this little drop down here, we have the ability to turn off the drag grid altogether and set it to a variety of different levels. So the higher I set this, the larger our grid visually becomes and the farther our objects will snap as we move them along. And this is great for placing objects with precision. So if you know you need a general placement, you can use a very large uh, drag grid setting. And the more precision you need, you can set this lower and lower. Although, just as a general note, I would recommend that you don't ever take your drag grid and turn it off unless you absolutely have to, which in some cases maybe for placing a static mesh, you might have to do that. But if you do, be sure to turn it back on, which you can do in the drop-down or just by checking the little checkbox uh, like so. So with that, we can take a look at the rotation grid, which really serves the same function that the drag grid does, but it's applied to rotation instead of to translation, where we are snapping to degree increments. For example, if I pop over to my static mesh once again, and we start to rotate it with the rotation widget, you'll notice that I am rotating in increments of five units, or I'm sorry, five degrees, excuse me. That's actually twice I've done that now. So we can change the amount of snapping by clicking on this little drop-down box. We can snap to 2 degrees, 5, 22 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees. Or we can turn off the rotation grid altogether. And if we do that, we are rotating freely with no snapping taking place whatsoever. But as with the drag grid, I would recommend that you don't do that if you don't have to. And I did hit Control-Z to undo that. Let's go ahead and switch that back on. Now to the right of this, we have the scale grid. And again, this does the exact same thing that the drag grid and the rotation. Uh, grid did as well, but it applies it to scaling, where the drop-down gives you access to different uh, snap settings for scaling, where we can snap to increments of 5% scaling, 10% scaling, 25, 50, and all the way down to 2 and even 1. And as before, you can turn this off if you need to. Now to the right of this, in the very furthest rightmost corner of the user interface, we have access to autosave, which is currently switched off. If you switch this on, you are, are now uh, autosaving your map every Every X number of minutes, and there's a drop down box right next to this where you can set the interval where you have access to 1 minute, 5 minute, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and 30 minutes. And with that, you have seen all of the snap settings and the autosave feature within the console bar.